In this video, we'll create a new loopback project to record customer information to MongoDB. First, run APIC loopback to create an application and enter a name when prompted. In this demo, I'll name it Customers. Select the default options, but when asked about the kind of application, choose an empty server. Change into the Customers directory and run npm install loopback connector mongodb save to install and save the connector, which will allow our application to speak with MongoDB after we set up our data source. Next, run APIC Edit to open the API Designer in your browser. Click Login with Bluemix, then use your Bluemix credentials to log in. Now let's create a data source, which will configure our connection to the database. Click the Data Sources tab, then the plus button, and enter a meaningful name for the data source. I'm naming mine MongoDB. In the next form, fill in the necessary configuration information, such as the host and port of your Mongo database. Then click the diskette in the upper right to save and test the connection to the data source we just defined. Let's go create a model now. Click Models and then the plus button to add a new model. I'll name this model Customer since we'll use it to store customer information. Set the data source to the name of the data source created earlier, in my case MongoDB. The public checkbox indicates to our application that we would like it to create a REST API for this model. Click the plus button in the lower right to add a property to your model. I'll add first name, last name, and zip code. I want to be sure my application always includes these properties, so I'll check the required box next to all of them. Also, notice that I can select the type for the property. This will ensure zip code will always be a number and the names will always be strings. Click the diskette in the upper right to save. Let's try out our new API. Click the play arrow in the lower left. This starts a local instance of your application and micro gateway so that you can try out your application locally. Now let's investigate our new API. Hit explore, then we'll use the post customers API to create new customer entries. Click the generate link in the parameters field to generate a random entry based on the model we made. I can click call operation to save the model to the database. I'll create one more entry and edit the zip code field. I can then go to Get Customers API to get a list of all the customers in my database. That concludes our tutorial of the basics of loopback data sources. Thanks for watching!